Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a review of the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette that recently came out. Um, this is the limited edition palette from Urban Decay, like I said. Um, this is the third in a series of Vice palettes that Urban Decay has done. I don't own the original Vice, but I do own the Vice 2 and I love it. But this one is definitely my favorite. Um, there's Three is my lucky number and I swear to God makeup totally follows that like the naked three is my favorite the vice three is my favorite the th third one is always my favorite for some reason um i do want to say this eye right now is like really red and like not looking that great so i'm sorry if you can see i know i'm sure you can see um i don't really know what's going on so just ignore that sorry about that um so the vice three palette comes in this little box when you get it um and it's looks like that on the back and it has all the shades now if I open it up you get this little bag which I really love I think it's pretty and I love that it holds the vice 3 because you can kind of travel with it and kind of slip some other products in here as well I mean there's like lots of room um, so you, it's good for travel which I really really like that's why I really don't travel with the vice 2 that much is just because it's kind of big and bulky and it's it never fits in a makeup bag but I'm glad to um, have this that it will fit. Um, now the Vice 3 is definitely slimmer than the Vice 2 to show you like that um, which is great because the Vice 2 is really kind of bulky which is kind of a, a pain to store and like I said a pain to travel with but this is much slimmer. It's still big. This is what the palette looks like by the way. It's so gorgeous. Um, it, this is still big but I feel like it's just slimmer and more compact and easier to travel with um, which I really appreciate so again this is the front of the palette one thing it's super metallic you can see my camera in there um, it does hold fingerprints quite a lot which is the one thing that I'm not crazy about um, the back is kind of this chartreuse color which is gorgeous um, and yeah that's what the palette looks like not a fan that it holds uh, fingerprints but you know what that's okay it's gorgeous what can I say now if I open this palette up this is what you'll see very very pretty so the, that's what the shades look like um, so there are 20 shades divided into kind of five sections um, you do get a double ended brush with this this is dirty right now because I used it today um, the double ended brush is the same one that comes with the Vice 2. I'm not a huge fan of this brush. It's really gorgeous. It's that chartreuse color again. It says UD Vice on it. Um, one end is kind of a fluffier blending type brush, but I find that it doesn't blend that well. It's just kind of like, I don't know, it's like stiffer maybe, or it's just not as fluffy as I'm used to in a blending brush, so I'm not really a fan of that side. This end is an eyeshadow brush. It's kind of dense and small. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I can work with it. It's not a problem. I used it today and everything was fine. Um, the shades in here are really gorgeous. So that's what that looks like. So amazing. Um, you have some a really great mix of neutrals and colors. Whoops neutrals and colors. Um, I used some brighter colors today. I used these two blues and a little bit um, of this color up here and what else did I use? A little bit of Alien. Um, also this one down here. Um, it's really really nice. I really like the shade selection in here. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really really love it. For 20 eyeshadows plus the eyeshadow brush in the bag and all those kind of extras you're paying $60 it is an expensive palette but you know what I really really like it I think that the value is definitely there um, and I just love these there's just so much in here there's such a variety in here it's not kind of um, a palette with one theme because you know how a lot of palettes they have one theme and so you can only re really use those palettes for that kind of one theme of look uh, whereas I find with the Vice palettes that there's a lot of variety in here so you can kind of either use this palette all by itself or you can pull shadows from here and then use them with other looks. If you want to see some looks that I've done with this palette I'll leave some links to my blog posts down below um, whenever I do like a makeup look using a new palette I always post it on my blog so I will leave those links for you down below if you're interested in checking them out. Also if you want to see swatches of 
the, this whole palette. Um, I'll leave a link to my blog review down below, which I just posted. Um, I swatch everything, up close photos, photos of the packaging, photos of the bag, all that stuff, um, and there's much more information there. Um, overall, I just think it's a great palette. Um, <clears throat> if, you're wa if you're wanting to splurge on something this holiday season, get the Vice 3. I mean, it's amazing. You're not going to regret it. I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's just a great quality palette. So there's really not much else to say about it besides I love it. There's nothing bad I have to say about it. So that's why this review was kind of um, probably quicker than most. So yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I will leave blog post links down below to my review of this palette as well as a couple of eyeshadow looks that I've done with this palette, including what I'm wearing today. You can see some close-up photos of it. Um, I really, really love this palette. Go get it before it's gone. You won't regret it. I promise you that. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, I would love that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.